गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर ओके वेट फॉर वाइल
Excelente. Good morning students, almost 54 students are there, so you can start now, am I audible? Okay, from myself, Amkit Prajapati, from Computer Science and Engineering Department. Let's we learn something about Python. My screen is visible to everyone. We are from RNGPIT College from Computer Science Engineering Department. Now we are going to learn simply what is Python programming. We have already learned many things from last few days. And what is Python, Python, where it is used, where it is used, which are the importance of Python that all we have already learned. But we are going to simply through which kind of difference we are going to see in Python with compared to other language. Myself, Amkit Pajapati, I have experienced more than 12 years doing jobs since 2012 in RNGPIT as assistant professor in computer science and engineering department. Now, these are the points which we are going to learn today that outlines like Python, then iterative computation and control flow for loop four and four while. It is very useful thing for doing programming. Now, very basic thing, what is Python and why are we going to learn it Python? Without Python, we are going to prepare maximum code. So line of code are very high compared to Python. So Python is very simple. You can say, I want to do something and I am going to line, I am going to write line like two pages, three pages for performing single task. The same thing with use of Python, we can do it in minimum number of lines. So that is a main advantage of Python. So it is simply in code. It is very much reducing code. Execution is very fast compared to other languages. And syntaxes are very simple. And so we can find easily errors from the program and we can modify it and we can go through it. So it is very helpful and very easy to learn or do coding in computer with using of Python. So with Python, we can do coding very easily, very 
uh, error less code and we can get fast output as well as we can find very much attractive outputs the first uh, iterative and computational control over the python you can see iterative syntaxes are also known as looping statements it is used for execute some part of the program frequently it is based on condition while we can give input i want to execute one single line more than one time so at that time we can apply this kind of statements to that line and we can run that line more than one time that is called looping statements we can run looping statements more than we can run that syntax single time and we can perform that line execution more than one time that is a use of looping statements simply i want to enter a number of five students name or detail of five students then i can read the name detail of five students from the loop and same way i can display same the name details over the inside of loop so we can easily display the details of the students so it is control flow basically simple sin uh, flow chart of the any loop so we can simple give first condition if condition is false then it is directly jump outside of the loop if it is true then we can execute some kind of statements or some kind of codes inside of that loop so this way we can execute simple syntaxes or in statements more than one time up to condition times while condition is true at that time statement is executed if condition is false then we can say statement is terminated so this way we can use this control flow we can once again repeat very first input is here first check the condition if condition is true then we are going to run these statements otherwise if condition is false then it is directly going to jump outside of the statements so we are skipping this much blocks if condition is false so that is called control flow it is very simple flow chart of condition which kind of uh, logic is going to execute that is we can see here first check condition if condition is true then we are going to run this bulk of codes otherwise we can exit directly from outside so other outside statements are going to learn or uh, perform and this block of statement is skip if condition is false now next one is for statement that is while statement while statement and for statement both are loops while and for these are the statements that is useful for looping it means execute syntax more than one time for some logical or for uh, getting output purpose you are performing looping statements for particular task so logically true and achieving some task so these statements are helpful to perform single uh, statement more than one times so it is one while statement initially it is checking condition at entry time so it is called entry control loop while condition is true then and then we are going to enter inside of uh, loop otherwise loop is automatically terminated first condition is verified then you are going to execute the statements if condition is false then we cannot execute that statement this one is simple syntax of while condition while condition is true then going to execute statement 1 2 and 3 otherwise these three statements are going to skip if condition is false 
So while is a syntax condition, we can put condition up to to where we need to reach. How many times is going to loop is on? That is depend on this condition. And then if condition is false, then these statements are going to directly skip. So that is a syntax of while statement and how it is going to execute. Next one is same way for syntax. It is same while we are working with loop, we need uh, three things. First, uh, initialization of loop. Second, condition of loop. And third, increment or decrement of loop. You can note down this. While we are working with any loop, so we need to give three main major part of the syntax. That is initialization of loop. It means starting point of loop. Condition of loop up to where we need to reach. That is condition or how many times going to loop is execute. That is also we can say condition. And for next execution, we need to give increment or decrement. That is if you are starting loop from n number and we need to reach up to zero. So first element is n equal to 10, second is nine, third is eight, fourth is seven. So this way we can decrement value. So condition is starting point is n equal to 10. Next point is condition. We are going to reach up to zero. So for 10 to zero, we need to decrement the values. So our next third statement is decrement. If we are starting from zero and reach up to five. So starting initialization point equal to zero. Condition is less than five. And last one that is increment by one. So we can one by one increment the value of loop. So that is a very basic thing. So for variable in sequence. So that is, we can say, if condition is true, then we can execute one, two, three statements. Otherwise, statements is terminated. So this one is very basic thing. Now we are going to see one uh, basic program of while loop. Everyone know how to do simple coding because you have already attended many lectures. So we can start with Colab. So you can write Colab in Google and open this notebook. So we can see one program, simple program for using while loop. So you are aware with this structure. Here we can see file, edit, view, insert, runtime, tools, help. These are the menu of the Python. We can change name from here. So we can simply change name while we are performing for while. So we can write code over here. We can write text or code. So I have 
prepare simple code for while in which we can say count equal to in integer input how many times you want to say hello it is simple it is simple syntax which we can see during runtime initialization of loop i equal to 1 while i less than equal to count count which we are going to read from here up to if i am writing here 5 then 5 times we are going to print hello print function that is useful for print hello line while i less or equal to count that is a condition so according to our simple syntax we can see while condition clear while that is a syntax condition we can write i less or equal to count then first statement print first statement that is print hello second statement i equal to i plus equal to 1 we must come increment the value so i equal to 1 that is initialization from where our loop is start next one i less or equal to count that is condition up to where we need to reach print hello that is our statement that is our task that is our work that we are going to do in program i plus or equal to 1 we can write i equal to i plus 1 so increment value of i equal to 1 now from here we can run program after end of the all execution we are going to print job is done thank you so that is useless line but we are going to print it because it is going to show us that our program is completed so it is a one kind of documentary work so now run so collab is going to run first line that is how many times you want to say hello it is a very simple program so we can see directly how many times you want to say hello so whatever we are passing from here that is going to consider as a count value that is input input it is only syntax where we can see at runtime if you are writing hello then only it is going to print hello now i'm writing here example five so five times we are going to print value equal to sorry print hello so now enter so hello 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 five times it is going to run and and we can see here job is done clear so now we can modify this program same example i am writing here simple enter value it is dependent on programmer so what he or he going to write enter value clear then i'm going to print c s e computer science clear and after completion i am going to run simply rngpid clear and once again i am going to change i am going to start loop from zero is starting from zero if it is starting from zero then we need to reach up to count so we can write here less than count clear now run program so see enter value we have enter right here enter the value so you can see here enter value now i am writing three so three times it is going to print computer science and at the end it is going to print rngpid thank you yes it is simple modification of code with use of this you can change code according to your requirement clear
same way i am starting if i am starting loop from 1 and reaching up to count less than so so your count is going to change now it is starting from 1 and reaching less than if you are entering here three value so it is going to run only two times because condition is change so that is depending on programmer how we can here or uh, here our logic is false we have enter value equal to 3 count equal to 3 and it is going to print count equal to 3 and it is going to print two times so we must change our condition according to our input clear so here we can write equal to so three times loop is going to run clear 3 same way i am going to change my or print sum example i want to print sum of three values so initially i can declare sum equal to 0 why it is 0 because if we are going to adding something then we must write it is starting from initially zero if we can perform multiplication then we cannot start multiply with zero because each and every time it is going to turn to the zero value so if we are performing sum equal to 1 sum then we need to start it with zero now next time i equal to 1 we are counting from there same way we are getting value up to 3 i need to count so it is now we are going to remove this so we can write logic here example sum i want to perform summation of first five value summation of first three value summation of first seven value clear sum equal to sum plus i so sum is 0 0 plus 1 Answer stored inside of sum. Clear. Second time. Zero plus two. Zero plus three. Zero plus four. This way we can enter the value of sum. is generating error wait a minute hello
Am I audible? Okay. Now we can see sum equal to one, sum equal to zero. Now I less than or equal to count that is loop condition. Sum equal to sum plus I. Now we need to print first time. Answer is inside of sum. So we are going to write sum. So it is going to generate error because sum contain some kind of library values. So we are going to change sum with S or addition. You can consider addition. So we are going to print simple S. So first time count up to where you, we need to perform addition. Example, I'm taking three. So I equal to one, S equal to zero, zero plus one. So first, our condition is three. One is less or equal to three. So we are going to enter inside of loop. S equal to zero, zero plus one. Answer is now one. So next time I increment by one. So one plus, I, I become two now. So two less or equal to three. Condition is true. S equal to one. One plus two. Answer is three. So this way, our coding is going to perform up to three times. Three plus two plus one. So our answer is three plus two plus one. That is total equal to six. So it is a work of one simple loop. Clear? So you can write here. Sir, screen is not visible. Yes. Wait a minute. Now visible. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Okay. Before we are writing that sum equal to zero. Our first code is sum equal to zero, same way sum equal to. So it is going to, sum is inbuilt function. So we are getting some kind of error. So we have converted sum with addition example. Addition equal to zero initially. So next time we can write addition equal to addition plus i. Why we can consider here my aim is to perform submission of first five values. First five values. Example, second example, submission of first three values. Values start from one and we are reaching up to three. So one plus two, that is three. Three plus three, that is six. Clear? So loop is starting from one. Our initially addition equal to zero. So one less or equal to Three example we are going to learn now we are one error is there that is our answer is that is inside of addition clear so i equal to one now we are going to read value addition plus i when it is going to show error Now see, I want to perform up to three, addition of up to three values. Same way, I want to perform addition of up to two values. Two means one plus two. Three means one plus two plus three. Four means one plus two plus three plus four. So at end, we are getting addition of or submission of all the values. For example, I am going to perform addition of four. So how it is going to generate answer? So we can print this value in between this. So we can find some loop of the code. Here, so final answer is 10. Now we can see in between values. Example, we can iterate 
or finding iterative values of addition. Example three. So first time, first time we are printing value at the time first time addition. What is addition? Initially addition equal to zero. Clear? And i equal to one. So one less or equal to our value equal to count equal to three. One less than three condition true. It is coming inside. Now addition initially zero. So zero plus i. I equal to one. Zero plus one. We are going to print addition. So first answer is my one. Clear? Now i equal to i plus one. Initially i equal to one. It is become now two. So once again going upside. Two less or equal to three. Clear? We can come inside now. Addition is now one. One plus i. I equal to two. One plus two means answer equal to three. Three is going to inside of addition variable. Now print addition. So next value equal to three now. Clear. Now after this line, i equal to i plus one. I become now three. Now go up upward. Three less or equal to three. Clear. Three less or equal to three. So what is answer? It is true. So we are coming inside. Now addition equal to now my three. Three plus i. I equal to three. Three plus three six. Answer equal to six. Come inside. Then print. Addition. So answer equal to six. Now i equal to i plus one. So you can see here value of i. Value of i equal to four. Four is less or equal to three. Condition is false. After execution of six value, four is less or equal to six. Four is less or equal to three. Now here you can see value equal to three. Clear? So condition is false. So now it is directly jump outside and printing rngpid. Thank you. Clear. So this way we can see here iteration of looping of while. Same things we can do with use of what with use of for loop. Now we can simple print. If I want to print here, we can see value of while i equal to one, while i equal to two. So we can print once again. At the time i equal to what the value of i? At the time, what is the summation? Clear? So we are going to print now. Up to where? Up to three. See one i equal to Value of i, so it is going to simple print before the i. Clear. Now count equal to three. Enter. Value of i equal to one. At the time we are getting addition equal to one. Value of i equal to two. At the time we are getting addition equal to three. Value of i equal to three. We are getting addition equal to six. It is a simple modification code according to our. According to understand by beginners, that's why we are writing this kind of simple code, so we can easily iterate the values. Clear? Value of i, addition is one. Value of i equal to two, addition is three because one plus two equal to three. Three plus three equal to six. Clear? It is called simple working of while loop. Same way we can do same program with use of other loop. Now I want to print number. From one to ten, so what we can do? I want to simple print number one to ten. Now you can do code yourself right now. If yes, then I am giving you some task. Are you able to do or not? If you are able to do. Then you can tell me. So I am giving simple code. 
so it is called one kind of hands on program you now we are going to print value of i you are converting this program to very simple program i equal to 1 i less or equal to count then print value i so i am going to simple printing value of i clear print example i want to print five values so simple five value of i 1 2 3 4 and 5 value of i equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 so our loop is going to execute five times from this we can see first time i1 second time i2 second time i3 second time i4 so we are going to write initialization of i value of i clear now i want to print only i want to print only odd numbers or only even numbers so you are able to do it right now yes or no if you are able to do then you can do it right now this one is simple uh, writing coding of all the numbers now we can change coding manner example i equal to count i starting from number count we are going to reverse the loop clear and i greater than equal to what zero now we are going to print the values here we need to decrement value because it is starting from n value and we are going to reach up to zero value clear so it is become now infinity loop clear so this one is one kind of coding logic error so we need to convert it properly i equal to zero if i am starting from 5 we are going to reach up to zero clear i is equal to what i greater equal to z z equal to 0 so we need to write z less than equal to i is so we can convert our code to reverse process now you can find yourself even number or odd number i want to print even number from even from all enter value is it possible by you i want to print even number from these five numbers how many even numbers
How many even numbers are there? Anyone can tell me? One, two, five. Anyone can do code? Using if in while. Is it possible? Okay, now next. Simple program for for loop. Using for statement. Now we can see coding for four. Four syntax value in range one, two, six. It is starting from one and reaching up to six. It is syntax for four. Four variable in sequence. So this way we can generate syntax of four that is 
for is useful for same way syntax for looping purpose. So we can do looping of common statements using another condition statement, control flow statement that is for. So for value in range, value, value is a variable name. You can contain V in range, range is one comma six, starting one up to reach up to six. See, we can, See here one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, same way, I want to perform addition, sum of the program as addition equal to equal to zero. We can declare addition variable equal to zero outside of loop. So now, value v at value first time v equal to or we can consider here value equal to i i for looping same way i it is useful for looping now i want to print summation of 1 to n that is 1 to 6 so next addition initially equal to addition plus i. Now we are going to print value of addition. Answer is addition. Clear? Now while i equal to 1, we can write here value of i equal to 1. Value of i equal to 1 at a time answer is 1 because 0 plus 1 that is 1. Value of i equal to 2 that is 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Now at a time of i equal to 3, 3 plus 3 that is answer equal to 6. Now at the time of I equal to 4 now. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 3 equal to 2. Next one is 3 plus 3 equal to 6. 6 plus 4 equal to 10. 10 plus 5 equal to 15. Clear? So that is we can consider ranging uh, using summation of using for loop. Now we want to simple print characters one, two, three, four, five. So we can only simple print, remove this addition. So we can simple print value of i. It is one, two, three, four, and five. So if you want to execute single statement more than one time using this then it is helpful to perform simple coding.
now another way we can see here coding simple same like input values my tuple tuple equal to 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 for value in my tuple so we can change here sequence after that print the value so job is done like value printing 1 2 3 4 5 5 so this way we can give the value looping loop of the value same way we can perform here previous program that add equal to add plus value because here i contained i is replaced by value answer is value you can see first at a time value is 1 answer is 1 value is 2 answer is 2 So we need to print here variable that is addition. Value is one. It is repeatedly that's why it is going to show. Tuple value is incremented. That's why it is going to display incremented value. now next code same way we can passing value like from dictionary value so we can generate here my tuple like first rama sita aisha gopmi and raja for key value in dictionary items and we can print next key to value so same way we can perform first one that is rama second one sita third one is hayas and gautami and raja so this way we can perform using dictionary so we need to prepare here first what is the content of my dictionary and then we can generate loop 
that is for key value in my dictionary items parenthesis and we can printing using key first value second value third value fourth value clear key is 1 2 3 4 4 key contain 1 2 3 4 these we can prepared syntax is using for loop Next one we can generate in Python. Our item in sequence of P Y T H O N Python. So example so print item one by one. So we can print A B C D E F. So item in is in sequence. So this way we can generate sequence of any characters same way we have learned that is range that is 4 1 2 6 range 4 1 2 3 4 5 that is our first program next one is we are doing it like item same way item is equal to x whenever if e is completed it is going to inside of else then it is going to complete the job now next next is even number or odd number you can see your value of range is 1 to 6 if value modulo 2 equal equal to 0 then it is called even numbers 
otherwise it is odd number you can see here number is even number is even then value and else can print number is odd number is odd then print value so from 1 to number or number is 1 6 and 1 and 5 1 3 5 that is odd why is not printed okay number is odd one is odd two is even three is odd four is even and five is odd right and job is done so this is how we can find odd numbers from odd numbers from 1 to 6 now next we can find divisible by 5 number from 1 to 100 example my range is 1 to 100 so we need to print divisible by 5 so we can write here only print number which are the divide by 5 Five equal equal to zero. Then print divisible by five. Right. Hello. Ah. Huh? Up to we can take up to fifty. One to fifty. Wait.
dynamic potential so that is come up in our first one now we can see here divisible of fine number from 1 to 50 so value is in range 1 to 50 if value modulo of i equal equal to 0 then it is going to print divisible by 5 value otherwise not so you can see here If you are printing like this, not divisible file, then it is going to generate number of values. So simply we can see here only divisible file. If you want to convert divisible by 10, then you can only change simple logic. You can simple convert divisible by 10 equal equal to zero. So it is divided by 10 values there. If you are printing from one to 100, and ranging from one to 100. So divisible by five, divisible by 10 values. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Here, this way we can convert the logic and we can change the values. So, So this is where we can do coding, uh, use of logic. That is, uh, we have prepared only line of code that contain simply one, two, three, and four line of code. Clear? According to logic, we can executing these lines 100 times. At value of value equal to one, at the time this line is going to execute two, three, four, up to 100 times. So use of conditional using uh, use of looping statements. That is simple lines. Now only we are going to change zero and is going to execute this line thousand times. So all the numbers from 10 to thousand, if you are converting is divisible by hundred. So we can see number of 100, 200, 300. So thousand times this line is going to execute within a seconds. So that's why looping statement is more important while we are performing or while we are doing coding. So syntax is more important in each and every lines. So execute proper code. Here we have not declared any variable outside of loop or any place. If we are using any other language, then we need to declare this value. Then we need to declare each and every element before the program. So it is advantage of Python, that simple line of code and we can execute program very efficiently, clear? So this, this is the content of for and while. So you can prepare your own program. I can listing you like Armstrong number, sequence of any series, like any pattern program. It is simple looping program. Now next day, we can perform nesting of for loop. Today we have performed only single looping program. Simple, single loop without without using another loop. So single loop program is where we can find all the values. Loop inside another loop that we are going to perform tomorrow. So it is called nesting of loop. We have performed nested of if statement. Nesting of if that is replaced by else if ladder. Same way here we are performing 
only thousand times. Example, first loop that is performed thousand times. If I am writing same on another loop inside of one uh, for loop, that is performing thousand cross thousand. That much that much times these statements are going to execute. Clear? That we are going to learn next day. So for today, I am giving you task. Are you able to do from home after this session? Yes or no? You can take screenshot of this. That is examples. Like first few programs, first program, I'm strong number. Clear? Using while loop, comma, for loop. Example of while statement, comma, for statement. First one is Armstrong number. Clear? Second one is Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series. Using both. Clear? Third one is sum of 10 digits up to using while loop and using for loop. Next one is print divisible by 25 numbers. Divisible by 25 numbers from first 500 numbers. So loop starting from one and reach up to 500 and find all divisible by five num 25 numbers. Clear? Prepare program. I see what I'm doing. Using while and for statement. This for program is you are going to do till today, till tomorrow, next session. Clear? Armstrong number, Fibonacci series, then sum of 10 and print divisible by 25. It is your homework. Clear? Everyone? If you are able to do it, then you can do it right now. Or you can do it after next time. Any query from these questions? And any query from while or for? Simply we can revise. It is control flow condition. Input condition, condition is true. Then go into execute bulk of statement or block of statement, a group of code, otherwise, Keep the statements. If condition is true, first is while loop. We are declaring outside of while, that is initialization. Enter into the condition. Condition is true, then executing these two statements. These three statements, otherwise terminated. 
clear? Same way for variable in sequence. Example four, value in one to six. From one to six, we are going to execute number of statements. Otherwise, after condition is false, we are going to exit from this statement. Clear? Anyone have doubt? If you have doubt, then ask me. I'm sending to everyone that is that you are going to do Armstrong number Fibonacci series sum of 10 and print divisible by 25 from first 50, 500 numbers. Do it yourself. Then we can discuss this it in next lecture or tomorrow. Anyone have doubt? Okay, let's complete the session. Thank you. Join tomorrow.